guys. So this is just a five, six minute um, exercise session to help to mobilize the body, stretch out the muscles a little bit. So as we're unable to do the classes at the moment in the clinic, hopefully the short video will help to keep the body moving when you're at home. As always with any of the exercises that we do in the class, just make sure that it's comfortable when you're doing them, that you're symptom free, so no pain, no discomfort, no feeling of extra pressure down through the pelvic floor or leaking, and make sure that you're breathing when you're doing the exercises. So keep an eye when we're not holding our breath, keep that breath nice and relaxed. Okay, so um, the next few exercises, I'm going to use the um, stick from my kitchen brush. As we're not in the clinic, I don't have our lovely wooden sticks to use. Um, the idea with these exercises is just to keep the, the body moving, giving the muscles a little bit of a stretch. Um, it's going to be five or six minutes, so just maybe try and do it throughout the day. Take a break, break if you're working from home and enjoy. So for the first one, I'm going to plant the, the stick on the, the, the mat. So I suppose if you are using the stick at home, just make sure that you don't place it directly onto a wooden floor or tiles because obviously it's going to be quite slippy. So use a rug or an exercise mat if you have it. Okay, so we're going to just plant the feet, maybe hip distance apart, holding the stick in front. And we'll just let our body stretch, getting a bit of a stretch into the back of the legs, into the back and also into the shoulders and upper back. Breathing as we do it. So I'm focusing on taking that breath into the to the belly. So on that breath in, just relaxing your bump a little bit. And then as we breathe out, just drawing your baby in towards you. Stick with this position, but just moving it into a bit more of a mobility exercise and stretching forward and back. Okay, and we're going to get a nice stretch into the side of the body. With this one, again, think about the breath as we're stretching off to the side and maybe focus the breath onto the side that you're stretching. So you're expanding the ribs out to that side. We're going to go a little bit more than hip distance apart of the feet if it's comfortable. Just keep an eye if you have any uh, twinges around the pelvic, um, the pubic bone. Just keep the, the legs maybe more hip distance apart. Okay. And you can always bring your toes in towards each other and that'll give an extra bit of a stretch up the side of the body as well. So we're just going to stretch over to the side and keep that breath going. Back into the middle and swapping sides. middle and rolling up. Okay, so we're going to focus more around our thoracic spine. So I'm going to bring the stick up to the back where my shoulder is here um, and we're going to bring the feet again, maybe hip distance apart, slightly wider if it's comfortable. Nice breath into the belly and breathing out as we rotate around. Breathing back into the middle and rotating the opposite side. And back in, and one final one, just thread the needle using the stick. 
So um, we're going to place the feet again, hip distance apart and or slightly wider, and we're going to thread the hand through. Just follow the movement with your eyes, so you're not straining your neck, and bring it around and back up to the ceiling. And we'll go again. So you can add a little bit of a stretch or movement into the legs if you want. And one final one on this side. And we'll swap over. and back in. So hopefully those few exercises will help to just move the body a little bit, keep the muscles stretched and uh, you can do these a couple times during the day and enjoy.